And welcome back to another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're gonna learn Summertime, the classic Gershwin song. So, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. A minor. Okay, just your ordinary run-of-the-mill open position A minor. Okay, and before we start, I would like to remind you of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Bachelor's Day offer on my website. If you go to lickandref.com slash courses, you have a Black Friday offer on all my courses, my entire Break Your Boundaries course program containing over 17 courses. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. Now put on A minor. Okay. And you start by playing strings one, two, one. Okay. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more stylistic, you can slide to five and play strings two, three, two. Okay. But then you have to let go and go back to A minor. So you can mix, you can play um, five on the second and third strings. Okay. You can slide. Okay, and then play the open E string, giving you time to go back to A minor. Okay, now I play the bass and then the chord. I play the fifth string and then strings two and three. Okay, now you can play strings two, three, and four. Okay, but that's um, a fat sound. Now I'm going for the thin sound. Okay, this has a little bit more space. It's a little bit of a wider sound than this, which is very condensed. There's too many bass frequencies. That's why I play the second and third strings. So, okay, or, okay, you can play strings one, two, one, okay? It all depends whether you want the slide, okay, when you start, that's the, the whole difference. And then, you are still on A minor, but you use your thumb to play two on the sixth string, okay? Two on the bass, that's F sharp. So this turns this chord, the A minor chord, into F sharp half diminished, or F sharp minor seven flat five, okay? So you play the bass, okay? Two on the sixth string, and then strings two and three again. So it has a scary name, F sharp minor seven flat five, but all you're doing is playing A minor with an F sharp bass. So, okay, now you can make it even more jazzy if you do, okay, zero two on the bass, okay, to give it a little bit of a double bass move, okay, a little bit of walking bass. And then you have B half diminished, okay? Which is this, okay? B minor seven flat five, it's three, two, three, two on strings two to five, okay? Three, two, three, two on strings two, three, four, and five. And again, you play the bass and then the chord. Okay, now here you can play the whole chord because it's only on for a moment. Okay, you can do, Okay, you can add a little bit of style or play it as a block. 
because then you have one on the second string, so you have to let go of the chord anyway. Okay, and then okay, uh, sorry, okay, which is okay, it's E seven, and again, you don't have to put all all your fingers on. You just play strings two and three, so you just okay, you can just put three and one on strings two and three. Okay, with the sixth string. Okay, you don't have to put the whole chord on. Okay, just these two notes. Three and one on strings two and three. And then you have the open E string, and then you have one on the second string again. Then you have A minor and E, but you only play the octaves. Okay, so it's two on the third string, then the fifth string. Okay, and I vibrate, okay, and then you play exactly the same thing, just one string down, down musically, up physically. Okay, two on the fourth, open sixth. Okay, so the, let's play it from B half diminished, or B minor seven flat five. Okay, and then E seven, one on the second string, back to A minor. Okay, A octave, E octave. And then you have A minor and B minor over A. Okay, so you play. Okay, now you don't really have to play the A bass twice. You can play the A bass and then the A chord, the A minor chord. And then take it two frets up, okay, while the A bass is still ringing. Okay, or play the whole chord, okay. Uh, if you play the A bass again, it sounds weird. Okay? So if you want to play the bass to emphasize the B minor over A chord, then play it along with the chord. Okay? Now, what's going on here is that it's not really B minor. It's not really a B minor chord. It's actually um, A, sus4, add nine, add six, okay, so it's, or add 13, but it's on the bass notes, so it's six. It's A6, sus4, add nine, so let's call it B minor over A, because technically that's what it is. Okay? And then you play D7, okay, and you play strings two, three, two, okay, on one, two, one, Okay, then you play the bass. Now you can play the chord again. Okay, or you can just play the bass. Okay, but I feel as if I do need to play the chord because it continues the motif of bass chord. Okay, so you can play it as a solo. Okay, and then you have this chord going. But even if it sounds awkward when you play this alone, you heard it yourself when I demonstrated it, that it sounds, uh, it sounds pretty fluent and fluid um, because you have a walking bass again next. Okay, you have C, D, three on the fifth string, open D string, so... Okay, and then we're taking the chord D7 down one fret, so we get D flat over D. So it creates a sort of uh, an augmented sound. So, okay. So what you're playing here is C, D, three on the fifth string, open D string. And then you play zero and one on strings two and three, okay? Instead of one and two. You, you took the whole chord down one fret, the D seven chord. So now it's D flat seven over D. So, right? and then you have F7, right? A normal F7 chord, you can even put the bar on if you want, but you don't have to. So it's one on the bass, one and two on strings four and three, okay? Okay, now again, you can play a walking bass move. Okay, you can do zero one on the bass. And then you have this. Okay, it's the F sharp minor seven flat five again. 
So you put on A minor over F sharp. You play A minor with F sharp on the bass, two on the bass, and you play strings three, two, three, two. And you play the bass, okay, with the second note. Okay, and then you have B7. So the melody note is the second string. Okay, you can play the second string and then the chord. So you get okay, which continues the bass chord line, or you can play it with the chord. Okay, both options are valid. What I play is I play the open second string first. Okay, so and then I take the B7 and I play bass chord, but I play strings three and four. Okay, as my chord. I play the bass, the fifth string, and then strings three and four. Now, why is that? Because the second string is still ringing. The second string is still ringing. So, okay. Okay, you see? It's still, still there. So, you get this, again, this counterpoint feel. As if you're playing the solo on the high notes with your right hand on the piano and here you're playing the chord okay with your left hand to finish uh this part okay this first round you take the b7 up one fret to c7 down one fret to b7 again and then you play e7 okay any way you want now um it's just um just a turnaround so it doesn't really matter how you play it so You can even play E major, not E7. Um, the way I do it is I keep the second string open. So this creates a dissonance, a nice dissonance with the C7 chord. So I play okay, which creates a little bit of voice leading. So I just take the B7 up one fret and I just arpeggiate it. And then I play the E7 at the end. So it's B7, C7, B7, E7. Now, when you play E7, I play, okay, I play strings three, four, and, and six, right? Because that's my voice leading. Right? But again, you don't really have to. You don't have to play it like me. You can do whatever you like, okay? You can play B7, C7 with the one on the second string. Okay? You can emphasize the E string, okay? The high E string. It's really your choice here, okay? Um, so that's um, part one, okay? So let's go over it again, okay? We have A minor. And then the F sharp bass. B, uh, B uh, minor 7 flat 5, E7, A minor, E, and then A minor, and then B minor over A. And then D7, okay? Now, if you want to play the whole chord, I should have said that earlier, you don't play D7, you play D minor 7, okay? But accidentally, I said D7 because I don't play the first string. And if you don't play the first string, it's not a full chord. It's neither a major or minor chord. So I think of this as a D7 chord, um, but actually this should be D minor seven. So if you wanna play the whole chord, it's D minor seven. Sorry about that. I should have mentioned that earlier. And um, another thing is, that even if you play D7, okay, it's jazz, so it's not a mistake. You're just playing a different mode, okay? So I just wanted to say that. So you have D minor 7, walk in bass to, okay, the D flat 7 over D, and then F7, and then F sharp, um, have diminished again, which is A minor over F sharp, and 
then B7. C7, B7, and then E, um, or E7. Now, for the second part, I harmonized it a little bit. So, okay, it's strings one and three together. Okay, open. And then A minor, okay, which is one and two on strings two and four. And then strings one and three again, okay, open. So you can put on A minor seven if you want, okay, um, which is A minor with the open third string and then Okay, but this is the problem. Okay, this is not a harmonized solo. This is a chord. That's why, okay, I play them separately. And then I play A minor, because then I get a completely different sound. Okay, I play bass and then the chord. Um, so that's a little trick. Instead of playing the chord as a solo, I actually play the solo and then the chord sounds a lot different than what I played, even though it's exactly the same chord. Okay? Then you have the F sharp half diminished chord again. And then you have the B half diminished chord. But I play another harmonized solo. So I play the bass. And then I play strings two and four, on, both on three, and then I play the one and two on strings two and four that we just played. And then I play E7, okay? Again, three, one on strings two and three with the sixth string open, okay? So this actually gives me a really nice harmony, okay? It's a nice voice leading. And we got all the bass notes. Okay, because it's an open E bass string, so it's no extra finger on the fretboard. Okay, and then strings one and two, okay, open first string, one on the second string, same as before. And then you play the chord sequence A minor, E, A minor, B minor over A. Okay, exactly the same. Then you have another ending, which is 3-1 on the second string. And then you put on a C chord. And you play um, the fifth string, of course, with the third string, because your melody is strings 3-4-3. Three, three. Okay, it's all inside the chord. And then you have okay, F sharp minor 7, which is 2 on three strings, on strings six, four, and three. Okay, so you can just bar, okay? Or do what I do and play an A shape with my thumb on the bass, okay? It's more convenient than barring because you have to change your entire hand position. Okay, so, okay? This way your hand doesn't move at all. Okay? You can play this, but again, you have to make an extra movement and that goes against the economy of movement uh, technique. Um, but it sounds absolutely the same because it's the same notes. Um, so whatever is comfortable for you. Then you have F7 again, right? Exactly like before. And then you have this, okay? It's two on the third string, and then you have one on the second string with the E bass. Okay, and then one on the third, two on the fourth. This is E augmented. So, okay, and then you have two on the third and the A bass. Okay, which is A minor. And then um, the outro is basically freestyling over a minor, okay, F sharp half diminished, B half diminished, and then E7, you play it any way you want, you can arpeggiate it, you can play block chords, and then you have A minor, E, and then A minor, you just play one block chord, and then you put on this, okay, okay, this is E9, um, with the 9 on the low notes. 
So it's three on the second string, one on the third, and four on the fourth. Okay, with the E bass. Right? This is a great ending chord. Okay, so when you play the ending, okay, just freestyle it. Okay, change between block chords to arpeggios. E9 chord. It's E7-9, but you don't say the 7. It's a, an E9 chord. Okay, so download the tab from the website. The link is below in the description. Remember the Black Friday discount offer on all my courses, the entire Break Your Boundaries course program. Okay, check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. I will see you the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.